During a meeting with the German social and cultural anthropologist Professor Dr. Hans Peter Hahn, he mentioned that changes start from a laughter, and that I also see is the role of costumes. In my artistic practice, I work with wearable sculptures, jewelry, experimental choreography, performance, and film. My costumes conceal faces and bodies of the wearers while they reveal something personal about them. My costumes are custom made. I make them for people who I interview. I depict the interviewees' answers as wearable sculptures and invite them to perform. The performances that I undertake are often theatrical, which take place in public space. One aspect that I rarely discuss about my artwork and artistic practice is the strong connections between the costumes that I make and my private life. It never feels relevant to cast a light on the topic relating to subjective matters like something private and personal when it comes to presenting my artwork in public. There is a big dilemma since in all of my artwork and how I work as an artist, art and life fuse. I pay close attention to human conditions in our societies that not only artists but many individuals relate to. The thread that runs across many ideas that I work with are self making, relationships, grounding, and heritage. In my artworks after 2010, I explored what it was and how I should live as a woman who juggles multiple roles. This issue does not exclude other genders. It is a common challenge s that I believe all genders confront today. How do we manage them all? And when do we come in terms with how to be us? Between 2013 and 2015, I was fighting with my former husband. Everything was painful. My heart was hurting. I was killing my emotions. I felt as if a thick, Layer of a body cover sucked me into a numb space, and the covering turned me into a hard surface machine that was just functioning. This was the time I started to make hybrid wearable sculptures, objectified subject and subjectified objects. In these works, people turned into things. The costumes hid warmth, true faces, softness of the skin, lightness, and liveliness. They were all in pitch black. They were my self portraits. I was asking my objectified self, what should I do? I was conducting a self made body mind psychoanalysis on my own. I also started to demonstrate the mechanized and objectified subjects that are working without embodying empathy, feelings, and emotions. Cleaning Samurai comes from my frustration that we, a parent couple, could never share the domestic core equally. Beside my work to earn money and make art, I was cleaning, cooking, washing, and being in a competition with my former husband on who completed these tasks more and better. At some point, it crushed. It was too much. Time, energy, money all were lacking and in deficit. We were functioning and working together, but inside we were not sharing the deepest emotions. We were just pretending to be together. Our relationship was wonderful before becoming parents. Raising a child together means to be in chaos and submit. It requires to really work together, put everything on the table, and discuss all matters that include agreements and disagreements. This sort of honest communication was no longer there. And familiar to us, the parent couple. We noticed that we were very far apart and we tried to repair, but the essence of love was gone. The air in the family was toxic, it was sterile and tense. I was working frantically, and my artwork helped me to ignore problems at home. Later in the year 2015, we made a move. We decided to change and got separated. My artwork after the separation was dealing with re establishing home and myself. Using cardboard boxes, helpers changing homes, reveals that we are constantly building up, 
leaving and starting up homes anew. In 2021, I felt ready to return to what I owe children who grow up in post-marital family lives. My child was 11 years old and I wanted to hear the voice on how it is to grow up between two home places. My costumes are connected to my everyday life very much. They are exploratory devices to find out how to deal with situations that are challenging my life. Things that I'm troubling, doubting, failing, suffering, and trying to understand what is going on. They show me some kind of answers. Costumes provide likeness, submissive feelings, acceptance, humor, and playfulness. These are all important part of human life. We take life too seriously. So, we did not manage many things well. I have been a fool. We are all lovable fools. So, let's make a fool out of this all.